So and again, I'm not moving off my Malik I'm Willis. I'm either. just saying, in lieu of Malik Willis, I would heavily consider wide receiver as a position of interest. This is an interesting chart, okay? And I'm going to go back to something Corey said in the first first uh, segment, too, about Evan Neal and the offensive lineman. So Dan Olofsky puts this out earlier today. This is the average salary of the top 10 players by position. Now, Alex, leave this up for a little bit because it's going to take the eyes to get used to. The league's general managers now believe that wide receiver is the second most important position in the NFL. Wide receiver, the second most important position in the NFL. Quarterback, wide receiver, edge rusher, offensive line, fourth. Uh, and then you can go defensive tackle, cornerback, safety. You go down the line like that, when I, when I was looking at this, the first thing that came to mind, this is exactly why you don't draft Kyle Hamilton, number one. Not only do you don't not take a, a safety that high. Or two tight ends at number one. I, exactly. You can't do that either because the, the only position uh, ranked lower than tight, uh, tight end, running back, linebacker. Uh, the lowest on this list in terms of paid. But when you think of this wide receiver now, um, Corey, I'll tell you, if you're not going to draft Malik Willis number two, you might want to think about one of these guys in Garrett Wilson, Drake London, or whoever you have. Chris Olave. Is the high, Chris Olave. Whoever you have on your board as the number one wide receiver on there, Man, you can make a difference. Not only that, because maybe you need a wide receiver on a rookie deal these these days too. Yeah, right. I mean, you look Ooh. at what Jamar Chase. Look I mean, at Galladay when they were going to pay him. He goes to the Giants. He flops. Taylor he a, Decker caught more touchdown yeah. passes than Kenny Galladay. So, are we saying getting a wide receiver with the number two pick? That's what I'm saying. Ooh, that would be. I'm not going to lie. I, I think that would be. That would be pretty hot for That's me. That's what I'm saying. That, that would be pretty hot for me because I don't think any of those guys If you are... could go back and take Jamar Chase, would you? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I don't think but none of, none of those guys are Jamar Chase. How do you know? Oh, look, look at the film. <laughs> none of those guys can stack to Jamar Chase. Like, if you if you were talking about Jamar Chase is out there and we still have those other needs, oh, hell yeah. I'm going to grab him a Jamar Chase in a heartbeat. And that's not even revisionist mm. history. Just seeing what he did coming out of LSU. No disrespect to Drake London. He can – doesn't have that quickness. He can go up and go get – he can go up and go make a play. But he's not a second overall pick. He's a guy where if the Lions were maybe trade back in that – and they were somewhere drafting like maybe 15, 14, 15, and he's there. Okay. 14, 15, you're looking at four to the Jets as a potential landing spot yeah. for Garrett Wilson. So Or I Drake mean, London. Or Drake London. Whoever, like I said, whoever you have higher on I, your I'm, board at that yeah, point. I'm, I'm I'm just, just, yeah, I'm just saying I, right. I, I don't think a wide receiver right now for the Lions, especially out of the crop that's out there, that's not a pick. That's not the direction that I would personally go in. I think that they should go with. Willis, but if they want to go edge rusher, then then edge rusher. But if it's not QB or edge rusher, I'm out. And Maz, I get you in in one second, but throw that throw that graphic back up. And, and Corey, just to get back to something that you said about Evan Neal being, you know, what what happened to Evan Neal? Nothing happened to Evan Neal probably. But if when you look at this at this chart here, right? And I know you need an offensive lineman. You need offensive linemen to win in the National Football League. You just don't need him in the first round. I mean, you go look at... We've already said that. And we've talked about this before, that if you look at the last five Super Bowl champions, the number of first-round draft picks they have on their offensive line, total, I think you can count on less less than a hand. Yeah, three, I think there's I think only it like was. Three first-round picks mm -hmm. on the offensive line. If you combine the offensive lines of the last five Super Bowl champions, three first round picks hell most of them are free agents look at it and obviously the Lions didn't come close to the Super Bowl last year however look at Frank Ragnow on the Lions right he goes down he is widely considered the best center in football is he not potentially yeah uh, if he's not the best center he's up there he's certainly up there in top three just for argument's sake we'll call him that uh Evan Brown played every bit that position 
that Frank Ragnow could play and, and nearly was named to a Pro Bowl. Nearly got to a Pro Bowl last year, and he was an undrafted free agent. So I don't think you need to go O-line in the first round like the Lions have in three of the past six or seven drafts. Jacksonville needs a lot of help there, though. Mm-hmm. They did hold a guy over. They did, but he's not a top echelon guy that they brought back, one of their own free agents. So Jacksonville still does need to protect Trevor Lawrence. That's, yeah. their, that's their bread and butter. They got him. They got him. They, he's the number one draft pick last year. You got to invest in protecting that guy. That's why I feel like I was okay. Even though I know you wanted Micah Parsons last year, that's why I was fine with the Lions drafting Sewell because he was going to be the final piece to a potentially top offensive line in the league. So that way, whether you're going to keep Jared Goff or whatever the quarterback you draft, that guy's going to come in with top tier protection. You're not going to get the best out of Trevor Lawrence unless you get him some top-tier protection right now. There are a lot of different edge rushers out there where the Jacksonville Jaguars can't go grab another one later. It, I, don't think, I don't think they should go number one. I don't believe they – well, they signed Christian Kirk. But how about even – people are going to think this is absolutely ridiculous, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. Did the Cincinnati Bengals give a little bit of a model of how to get good quickly in the NFL? Yeah, get a combo. Get a combo. Yes. Would you be crazy to go get a Drake London or a Garrett Wilson at number one? You don't have Joe Burrow. Well, you (laughs) did take a quarterback number one overall. It would be nice if you got him some help. Now, I know that they signed Christian Kirk. Stafford had Calvin. But he didn't help. They won some games. They made some playoff appearances. Yeah. I, I get it. I mean, I understand the Lions what you're had saying. that model before Cincinnati had the model. Oh, that's true. They did, but it just didn't work because well, let's face it, nothing has worked here in 60 years. In fairness to the Lions, the difference between Stafford and Calvin is that you had to pay Stafford and Calvin right up front. Correct. So you couldn't build your team right. anywhere else. Those it's, were the yeah, guys got, that you got, had to they pay. Got, those guys are some rookie deals. They, they got, got yeah. they have a loaded defense. So. so so that is a a huge difference. The rules when it changed comes. over the years. Yes, they did. In favor of the Bengals now. And of course, it killed the Lions because they could not keep in Dominican Sue. Because they were sucked. picking first, second, yeah. third every year. Yep. Those contracts just kept rising each and every year. They yep. didn't get a break on them. So um, nowadays, that's what you need in order to win almost. The thing is about the wide receiver pick, and I talked about it, I don't know, eight weeks and ago. And again, I'm not moving off my Malik I'm Willis. I'm either. just saying, in lieu of Malik Willis, I would heavily consider wide receiver as a position of interest. When we thought Hutchinson was going to be off the board, so we said, we said Thibodeau. We said Trayvon Walker in passing. Maybe we spent the day with him. But I brought up, why not get one of these big receivers there? And now, all of a sudden, it's back in vogue because now it's the second most paid, highest paid the, per Dan Orlovsky, per, the, per these teams. It's, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it's not a Mike Williams deal. These guys aren't Mike Williams. It, it, we have so many things against us here in Detroit when it came to drafting people. We drafted the wrong tight end. We drafted the wrong, wrong wide receiver. We had the quarterback. We just couldn't get the. We couldn't go any further than that. He wins a Super Bowl, going somewhere else. It, everything went against this team. I mean, anything that could go wrong, went wrong with this team. It's it's got to be time for it to change. It, it has to. I will say this: I do in, in, in going with your idea. Let's say if they win that direction, with you just showing how that pay scale is, being able to have a guy like Drake London with his talent on a rookie deal for a couple of years, that would be nice, especially for how, for, for how they're trying to build because regardless of whatever QB they're going to get, the QB is going to need talent. They've already got the offensive line built. I guess they're going to go ahead and build the wide receiver corp, then pluck in the QB, I guess. And, and the that, kid wants to be here. He's a Lions fan. And, 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 and is his guy here. I'm Some on guy, Ross I'm Ross. Ride, so. But again, that's that's one of the reasons, too, that you've got to think about moving forward. What position is making money in the NFL? Quarterback and wide receiver. Those are the two highest paid positions if you look at the average of the top 10 salaries at each position. So if you get a top 10 guy, you're going to be paying that kind of money. 